morning everybody Tyler here with Boost Junkie Media and this weekend we've got a very special edition on the channel here we're gonna go be going to streetcar takeover in Charlotte North Carolina just like we did last year uh, we're already loaded up we're already on the way you can see we've got the car and the uh, trailer back there we've got the tow rig all set up here and we are currently headed on our way down to North Carolina to uh, my buddy Josh's house the underground garage um, we're gonna set up there tonight and do a little dyno action and then tomorrow we'll head to streetcar takeover So stay tuned gonna be more footage just coming this weekend and it should be a, a good time Hope you guys will uh, follow along and stay with us So fast and the furious All right, what do we got here? Uh, VIP parking competition registration. registration. Oh, he's telling us to go this way Okay, up here they had everybody right here. That's where you registered, remember? And I then, don't, but I believe you. And then we pull you out. And last year we came, they had it like this, where you pulled up into the lanes here. Ah. And so I think this is where we'll have to pay. So okay. they told me to get two day, just a two day tech card is what they said. I wish it would stop raining so I could call Joey. You could just hit the button and just turn it off. After you hit the down volume, and the only options are no. message and answer. You hit the side button, it will just cancel the call. This one here? Pretty sure. Yeah, I didn't know that. Pretty sure. Mine does. Jimmy Moore says, We got you a spot. It's called. Hey everybody, Tyler here with Boost Junkie Media and today we are here at Streetcar Takeover. This is actually Saturday, day two. We were supposed to be making passes yesterday, but with all the rain that we've had here on the East Coast in the last couple weeks, uh, they had some issues with the track and water seep, uh, seeping up through the track. So they had to end up canceling racing yesterday and we're gonna be doing it today instead. So they're running the roll racing right now and this afternoon they're gonna roll right into drag racing. We've got the driver's meeting coming up in about 15, 20 minutes. And then we're gonna be going right into uh, Q1 and Q2, hopefully. And so we're getting the car ready right now, and we're gonna go into the qualifying here in just a little bit. And we'll kind of check in and let you know what's going on. So stay tuned. So this is Streetcar Takeover Charlotte 2023. here by the actual track. This is the actual track itself. Well, stands for the track. And this is the kind of the pit area. Staging lanes are over there. And these are all like the vendors and stuff are down through here. And the streetcar takeover tent and everything is over here. So we're just going to hang out for a few minutes and wait for the driver's meeting. And we're going to roll into uh, Q1 and hopefully a Q2. Stay tuned.
little bit later in the day. You could probably tell from the sunlight. Uh, it's been a long day, a lot of issues. Uh, trying to squeeze everything into one day is kind of tough. But they're doing their best. Um, we've done Q1. We're only going to get one qualifier, which really sucks. Um, so we went 9-2, which is towards the, the bottom of the mild group, which is the kind of the middle range. Um, so we, we went 9-2. The top guy was like 870. And we are um, going to, we turned it up a little bit. We'll see if we can't top that. The breakout's actually 860. I don't know if it's got that in it, but it should be pretty you know, pretty close. So we're gonna get ready to go up to E1 here in just a little bit. We're gonna do chip draw, and then we'll be ready to go in E1, and we'll kind of see what happens. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. Roger that. Huh? Roger that. We got sunglasses, we got shoes, oh man, we got it. Come on back, you good, brother, you good, come on. You're all good. You gonna walk it off, ain't you, boss? Put your hands together, my man, right here, come on now. He in the file now. We've got some seepage down there on the big end that makes things dangerous. So we're gonna send the, uh, Street Racer Wild Cars, 8th Mile. Got this beautiful... Hey everybody, Tyler here with Boost Junkie Media, and as you can see, we're down again. So we're gonna recap a little bit what happened at Street Car Takeover, and I'm gonna kind of talk to you and show you what happened with the car. Uh, we are in a, a little bit of a, a rebuild process, it would appear, and I'm gonna show you why. So gonna recap a little bit what happened. Um, at Streetcar Takeover. I know I never did finish up with a, uh, a closing video for that, so we're gonna kind of talk about it a little bit here. 
as you can see uh, the motor is torn down uh, on the last pass uh, it was uh, e1 so elimination one uh, i did go out first round unfortunately and i'm going to talk a little bit about that as well here in a, in a second um, some thoughts I have about that based on the time slip and stuff. Um, but anyway, so the motor, uh, back in March, actually, I never really made a video about it, but back in March, uh, we actually had an issue with the car where it went lean on number three here, as you can see, and it torched the head. Um, and what I mean by it torched the head was it actually melted. It got so hot in the cylinder and it pushed the gasket out that it melted the head the heads are aluminum and it melted away and actually pushed the combustion out through the head melting the aluminum away as it did it um, the aluminum can't handle that the iron typically does but as you can see down here um, on its way out you can see right through here while it's not like super deep or anything there is enough there that that is no longer a, a flat deck on the block and I knew going into it that just by just putting another gasket on it and another set of heads, there's potential for this to happen again. Um, and I was hoping everything was gonna be okay. Uh, it did make a little over 800 uh, on, on uh, Josh's dyno, the underground garage. Um, and it didn't seem to have any issues with that. Unfortunately, um, that was on about 21 pounds of boost. In during E1, I was behind, and so I got on the scramble and gave it a little bit more boost. And as it went through the, the trap at the end in the quarter mile, um, there was a, a puff of a flame out from under the hood, and this is what it did. So it got another gasket. I'll kind of show you the gasket here, what exactly it does on the gasket itself. So you can see right there. That's what it does. It completely burns through the gasket right here. And then I'll show you on the head here too. So this is the other side, that head's fine. Um, you can see right there, that's where it pushed out and it was so hot that it melts the aluminum as it pushes out past the combustion chamber there. Um, so that's what we're dealing with now. So like I said, we are in a little bit of a rebuild um, it's the bottom end is fine. The internals are okay. The piston is fine. Um, I don't think there's any issues there. The issue is the deck. And so I'm hoping that I can save this block and we're going to potentially, um, check this once I get the motor out and see how deep that is. See if we can't just deck the block down a little bit and get rid of that or potentially have somebody weld it. If someone could weld this up, then we can deck it and get it smooth again. Um, once we get that flat and straight, then I think if we put another head on there with a good gasket, I think it'll seal. But it won't seal, you know, under uh, higher pressures, under higher cylinder pressure when you're making power. It's just, if I keep putting gaskets in it, it's just going to keep doing it and it's going to keep ruining a head every time it does it. So I have to address it. So that's kind of what we're doing right now. Uh, as you can see, the motor is, is torn down. We're down to the short block right now. Um, so we are going to finish pulling it out is the plan. And once it's out, I will take all the internals out of the motor, get it down to a bare block. And then I'm going to take the block somewhere and either have it, like I said, have it decked or have it uh, you know welded and then machined. Uh, and get it decked down to be smooth again or flat again, actually. So that's kind of where we're at. Uh, I did want to address a little bit about the the guy that I raced um, during a streetcar takeover. Um, so looking at the time slip, you can see it in the slip. Uh, I went, so in the eighth mile, this car went 124, which is the fastest it's ever gone in the eighth mile in that pass. Uh, the guy that I raced, he went 130. In the eighth, so he had a six mile an hour on me. In the eighth, the breakout for the 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 middle class, which was uh, mild, the breakout was an eight sixty two, I believe. Um, I went eight seventy seven all out. It was pretty much everything I I had with the car. Uh, that was forty pounds of the dome hitting the scramble, trying to get it to make as much power as we could. 
Um, and I, it went 877 at 124. He had six mile an hour on me in the eighth mile. He ended up going in the quarter, he ended up only going like 148. I went 156. So what that means is he only picked up like 15 miles an hour in the, um, or 18 miles an hour in the, in the last half of the quarter mile, which that's not normal. Most cars pick up, you know, 30 or so. And so what that tells me is that he was getting out of it. He was sandbagging. The car is faster than what he basically was racing it at. And he was just getting out on me and getting out on everybody. And then at the end, once he's out, he just gets out of it and just coasts to make sure he doesn't break out. And to me, that's not drag racing. That's that's sandbagging, you know, stuff that it's just not what drag racing is about. You should never be slowing down to win in drag racing. Like that's that's kind of BS in my book. He that car should have been up into the wild category, not in the mild. Like I said, this car was a perfect fit for that class. It was literally, you know, it would have gone a little bit faster if I give it a little bit more off the hit. Um, I think it definitely has an 8.6 in it. So this car was perfect for the, the mild category, racing it all out as, as hard as I could run the car, as fast as I could get it to go. He was not that. Um, he was a, a faster car. You know, he was probably easily, I would say maybe an 830, 840 car, maybe more, depending on, you know, how much he had, had pulled out of it. Um, and so that's just, I don't, that's not cool. I don't, I don't love that. I mean, I, I will never race that way. I will run the car as hard as I can run it and hope it's fast enough. And if it's not, then I will do stuff to it to make it faster and make it compete. That's what drag racing is about. Not, uh, let me get a fast car and then go out and make it slower and sandbag and get out of it so that I can run with slower cars and win. Like that's just, that's not what drag racing is. So uh, I don't know who the guy was, if he's out there and he sees this, you know, not cool too, not cool dude at all. Like just run your car, no need to sandbag. Um, but it is what it is. So we're gonna fix the fix the motor or get a new one. They can't fix this one for whatever reason. We'll get a new uh, short block, put a new short block in it. We'll be back up and running here and hopefully a couple, two or three months is the plan. Maybe less, uh, that's kind of worst case scenario. So yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Um, so not really sure what else to put in this video. Hopefully that kind of captures everything um, and gives you a little uh, you know, final synopsis of what happened with the race and the end of the track and everything. So uh, with that being said, guys, if you liked the video, there's gonna be more to come. Uh, give me a follow, you know, like, the, like the video, um, hit that, uh, the notification bell so you get notifi notified when there's more videos coming up and that kind of stuff. And We'll see you later.